the first book I ever wrote, or, or ever had published, is a huge pit around Hope Chesney the Attic, and there's like next to no copies of this thing left. And so I was working on having it uh, go for a second printing, or it would have an actual full color cover, not just two inks or whatever. But in the meantime, because it was reflecting on doing this, which has an art section in the middle of it, I thought I would do one poem for life, and we'll see how it goes. And that is called, wait, should I play my music? What do you think? Does, should I have the music up for it? Nah. Nah, okay, good. Yeah, because I don't know if it would be fitting, because I'm not, nah, it wouldn't be. This is called the flashback. <laughs> Everyone at work wondered why she looked so down that day. And occasionally someone would ask her, what's the matter? And she'd just say she was having a bad day. And she went through the motions. She did her work. She ate her lunch, even though the lettuce tasted bad. And she then had to run an errand for the boss. And she was in her car. It was snowing, but it's not the pretty kind of snow, not the kind of snow you expect to see on Christmas Day. It was like the grass snow was already dirty and gray before it hit the ground. And she was driving, and she didn't even realize she was going under the speed limit. She was there in a daze, lost, not because of depression, but because there was nothing she cared to think about. And so she drove. And she dropped off the crate of flyers and the mailing list for the boss, and she drove back, and the whole way back she was thinking, she should drive slower so she wouldn't have to go to work so fast. <laughs> and so she drove slowly, coasting now, watching the dirty snow touch her windshield. And she looked over to her left, and there was an old man. He was lowering his car from the jacket it was on, a flat tire. And then she had a flashback. And it was no longer winter, and she was no longer driving. She was outside while he was trying to fix the flat on his rusty white car. They were driving back from a park. It was summer in Monticello. It must have been 90 degrees. And there she was, sitting on a dirty beige carpet scrap from the floor of his car. She had taken the scrap and moved it out to the dirt road about 10 feet into the field. And she just sat there, watching him, shirtless, fixing the car so that they could drive home. And she wanted to remember it, just like that. Then the light turned green. She followed the procession of cars through the graying snowflakes. And she began to forget that it was a bad day. And she didn't mind her days. <laughs> And I've got a handful. See, there's herbs.